I'm not a mechanic, but I play one on YouTube. Okay, we are going to do a quick and dirty how to test a thermostatic switch. And this is a thermostatic switch that's controlling an electronic fan in my 1977 MG with a cooling system. We have the old one and we have the new one. And I'm going to show you really quick how to test it. So this test is a simulation of the operating conditions. We add the hot water from our stovetop and that closes the switch when it gets to a temperature, cools off, opens back up again. So here's the old one. We're going to go ahead and test that. First time I tested this thermostatic switch, it was open. I put it in the water and it rose and it closed, but it never opened up again. We're going to take our water. It's about 198 degrees. And we're going to simulate the engine getting hot to a certain temperature. On my car, when it gets to about 194, it will close. All right, it just closed. When this thing cools off, the circuit will open again and shut the fan off. If you want more about the MG, stick around. I'll show you a bit more about how I discovered it, what it did to track it down, and a little bit more specifics about the car itself. So MG owners, if you think you could uh, test this inside the vehicle, you're wrong. You gotta pull it out of this grommet where these two wires connect. Um, and that is about how much uh, fluid you'll lose out of this hole if you don't uh, capture it. So okay, so the ignition is on. I can hear the fuel pump running. Uh, right there is the fan. If I touch these two together, I close the circuit and the fan works. So what happens is the thermocoupler is in there and the temperature reaches 198 or wherever it's going to close. It closes, it creates a circuit, fan blows, drive down the highway, cools off a little bit, get some cooler temperature. The thermal static switch opens and it shuts the fan off. So that's what you're testing for is this thermostatic switch. It's normally open. When it reaches a temperature, in this case 194 degrees, it closes. Temperature drops in the engine. This thermostatic switch opens and the fan shuts off. You test it the same way. You have to have hot water and you're simulating, simulating the conditions. Okay, so MG fans, this car is never overheated. But what I noticed was the fan would run when I connected the, uh, when I closed the circuit on the fan, it would run. I put the thermostatic switch back inside the radiator and it didn't really seem to like turn the fan on or off. If I wiggled the wires, it would like come on, but I think they were just like touching each other. The temperature gauge was reading uh, right in the middle how the gauge was working because when I let off the fuel and just kind of coasted along at like maybe 50 miles an hour, the temperature gauge would drop slightly. So I know it was just the action of the air crossing the radiator was cooling it down. But I don't think the fan was turning on. I suspected, yeah, we got some thermostatic switch issues. The only way to do it is go ahead and buy a new gasket, pull it out, test it. Yeah, so one of the first things you want to do is make sure you have power to your switch. These are the two terminals that are going to the thermostatic switch. When I touch them together, the ignition's on right now. You can tell the fan turns on. So that's what happens. So, you know, engine's running, it's running, it gets to operating temperature, the thermostatic switch closes, turns on, it cools off for whatever reason, it will shut off. Um, so I suspected, yeah, thermostatic switch wasn't working. So I thought it was a good idea to pull out this thermostatic switch and give it a test. So when you pop this thermostatic switch out of this grommet, it's going to start leaking right away. I caught, captured it in this little bottle here. What, I got like 12, 16 ounces? We don't want to let this antifreeze get on the ground. We want to capture it in a container. 
The switch is normally open at a temperature. When it gets to a certain temperature, in this one, 194 degrees, the circuit closes, the fan turns on. When the engine cools down again, temperature drops, the switch will open the circuit and the fan will shut off. So that's what you're testing for. And that's all it takes to test these guys out. A little heat, continuity tester, boom. Now we know the problem is, place a switch, fan will operate. And remember, I'm not a mechanic, but I do play one on YouTube.